What's up, Kobe Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel, I'm going to try to help kids fall in love with reading. Today we're going to be opening up some kid lit book mail packages sent to me by friends, publishers, all kinds of different people. And hopefully we can find the next great book to add to your to read list. The next great book for your kids. If you love helping kids fall in love with reading, give this video a thumbs up. Let's go. If you see anything great in this video, also let me know in the comments which books you're adding to your to read list. Let's start off with one long line. Marching Caterpillars and the Scientists Who Followed Them. I know that Lori Griffin Burns is a absolute must read when it comes to uh, nonfiction. So definitely gonna be checking this out. One long line. Does that look cool and interesting? I think so. Gonna be reading that very soon. And The Monarchs of Wing Haven, looks like a middle grade novel. Very cool. A story about children trying to save natural spaces, written with a poet's ear. A lovely and compelling book. That's what Jane Yolen said about this book. So I listen to Jane Yolen. You should probably listen to Jane Yolen too. She's pretty smart. I've written like 300 books for this. Something like that. All right, let's see what we got next. The Mind Wars. Looks like some more nonfiction. Steve Watkins. The Bloody Fight for Workers' Rights in the West Virginia Goldfields. Well, that sounds important and awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I know. This one is from a friend. I recognize the name. And it's a dear friend, and it's one of the great picture book creators that we have today. So we're going to be very careful opening this book. I'm so excited for this book. Partly Cloudy by the one, the only, Deborah Friedman. You know her from Fish and Snail, Carl and the Meaning of Life. Like, let's just take a little peek inside. Let's just take a little peek. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this. How much joy do we have from these pages? I am so excited to dig in. I love everything Deborah Friedman makes. Thank you, Deborah Friedman. So nice of you. All right, let's see what we have here. These are some books from Eardsman, which is a publisher in Michigan, and they often translate books to a new language. So not to a new language, to the English language. So I'll give you a quick look at some of these. Winter, that looks beautiful. Fast Cheetah, Slow Tortoise, Pales of Anim Poems of Animal Opposites. That sounds fun. So we have Patient and Restless. That's cool. Like, these are the advanced copies of the books, just to kind of get them into reviewers' hands. So they're not actually bound, they're just folded and gathered. But it's okay. It also looks fun there. Animal Opposites. Let's go. All right, let's see. What we have here, this one's, uh, this one's been through the ringer. Come on, post office. All right, let's see. Oh boy. I am, okay, this, this is LeBron James. This is a new LeBron James book. Looks like we got some crowns here, so. How I look? I am more than Nina Mata, written by <laughs> LeBron. Uh, so I got crowns for like all my kids. So I got a bunch of crowns. That's exciting. Anytime I get an email about one of a book like this, like from LeBron or Steph or someone super famous, I always ask to have them on the Yarn Podcast. So LeBron James, my guy, if you are watching this video, that means you probably lost to the Nuggets. I'm sorry. But if you're watching this video, summer break, right? Let me know. Love to talk to you about I Am More Than for the Yarn Podcast. Anytime. Send me up, LBJ. All right. Wouldn't that be fun if he did? Ron, my kids are obsessed with Ron. My own kids, my kindergartner, which is very fun. Rising. If you're still watching the brown, maybe you'll find something else that looks great. Like a book about bread rising. Who knows? All right, let's see what we have here. I just can't get out of my head of all the Brian James watching this children's book unboxing video. Oh, let's go. Natalie Lloyd, The Witching Wind. We love everything that Natalie Lloyd writes. It's automatic read. You must read this. This doesn't come out until September, but we will read it before then. No one can silence the song inside your heart. Definitely going to be reading that. Alice Hoffman, When We Flew Away, a novel of Anne Frank before the diary. I already know which fifth grader. I didn't have to read the back. I already know which fifth grader. I need to get this into the hands of before we leave for a summer break. So 
let's go. That's a heck of a package. All right, let's see what we have here. One second. Sometimes we have that uh, hot water heater turns on during the videos. That's weird. Mermaid Lullaby. Looks cool. Mermaid's chilling. Chilling. Looks fun. All right, LeBron, let's see what we got next. Ooh, yay. <laughs> so uh, one of my favorite creators and fellow Michigander, Gary D. Smith, multiple time Newberry Honor winner. He's created this um, uh, anthology of a little bit super, small powers, big problems. I think it means like people have like superpowers, but they're small superpowers. And these are the creators, so you're probably really excited. And can we just talk about the cover seriously? Mm. Pam Munoz Ryan, Pablo Cartaya, Nikki Grimes, Leah Henderson, Kyle Lukoff, Meg Medina, Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes! Of course, Gary Smith. And we're running out of time in fifth grade. So, um, you know... We have like time for one more read aloud after the book we're currently reading, but maybe, you know, we'll need like a little of a few days. So maybe we'll read some stories in here, you know, short stories. It's really exciting. Congratulations, Gary D. Smith, one of my favorite fans. Honestly, if you ever get a chance to see Gary D. Smith speak or you get a chance to talk to Gary D. Smith, do it. He is the great. He's just the greatest. He's just the great dude. I got this. I have bounce back superpowers. All right, let's go. The path will take you, the path you will take is steep and bumpy. There are no shortcuts to make it up to the top. You need to use your bounce back superpowers. There you go, folks. Bounce back superpowers. We have two more packages. Let's see what we have here. This came in a fancy box. This was an express, they really wanted me to have this as soon as possible. Thank you. And then I waited a week to open it. Ugh. Still guilty saying that. But you know, we keep it real here. Keep it real here on, on the video. What could it be? What could be so important to get here and expressly? I have no idea. What do we got? The Bletchley Riddle. Ooh. Ooh, look at these two creators. Look at these two creators. So is this nonfiction, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to have to open it because it's also shrink wrapped. Uh, cut ourselves. This is very exciting, though. Don't usually I know like, what's going on. I don't know. A house of secrets, a war of cards. I feel like it's like cracking the code to open this thing up. So, you want to see? It smells good. A thrilling World War II code breaking adventure. That's Helen Grant said. Christina Brubaker Bradley. She says, brilliant. Jennifer Nielsen, I loved every single page of this book. Well, that's nice. Nice people saying nice things about it. And then this is fancy, y'all. You know that. Who's publishing this bad boy? Penguin. They're, they're all in, right? Like, look at the marketing time and energy spent to make this. We got, I don't know what this is. We got this little thing. We got, I don't even know what's going on here. Look at this. Look how fancy this is. Probably should read this book. When does it come out? October. Remember, you are bound by the Official Secrets Act. Summer, 1940. 19-year-old Jacob Novus and his quirky younger sister Lizzie share the love of riddles and puzzles. I don't know if this is fiction or nonfiction. I don't, I think it's fiction. But I don't know. Oh, I'm really excited to read this, friends. So, yeah. We're about to dig in. Looks awesome. Oh, and look at this giant box. Joy Awaits Within. Are you excited? You should be. Joy Awaits Within. Uh, I read this book already. And I've seen someone else open this package because they sent me a picture. Why did they send me a picture, you ask? This is why. Because if you can see right here, I, what did I say? 
an instant classic. And look how quick it lands, look. So we have three, we have seven, seven blurbs. And look, look, I almost made these top three big ones. So almost made the top list. It's pretty awesome to be in here. I'm just kidding, of course. But the yellow bus is awesome. This is the yellow bus. And oh look, the making of the yellow bus. Pause this video. That's me pretending that it was paused. And you can scan this. And I think this is the yellow bus that inspired the book. So I'm probably gonna scan that when I'm done. I always am curious about uh, QR codes on videos. And uh, because you're watching it on your phone, you're probably watching this on your phone. So if you're watching this on your phone, how do you scan this? Maybe you're watching it on a computer. We got a letter from the president and publisher of Macmillan. We got a letter from Lauren Long. We got this little, what is this? This is like a thing you put on your classroom window or something. Fill the space with joy. Oh, they put it on the side of the bus. We will probably frown on that. And then we have a sign print. This is really pretty. That's really beautiful. So I don't know what to do with all of this stuff because it's so nice and I don't want it to get bent. Look at all of this. Look at all of this stuff. I'm sorry. You're still there. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found something awesome to add to your to read list. I have some reading to do. So, my name is Kobe Sharp. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic.